This video is about the multi-cell view of the human body. According to Darwin's theory of evolution, human beings originally evolved from a single cell floating in the ocean, similar to the example shown in this picture. That single cell evolved into a fish, an amphibian, a reptile, an insect, a bird, a mammal, and finally into a human being. According to Happy Theory, the human body retains characteristics of all of the creatures on the path of evolution somewhere within itself. Somewhere within the human body can be found one or more characteristics of a fish, an amphibian, a reptile, an insect, a bird, a mammal, and most pertinent to this video, the original single cell floating in the ocean. This property of the human body was the basis for the creation of a theoretical model of the human body called the single cell view of the human body. According to the single cell view of the human body, it is useful to treat the human body as if it is a large single cell located as shown in this picture. A single cell reproduces through a process called cell division. This animation shows a single cell dividing into two new identical single cells. This picture shows one stage of the cell division process when the two new cells are still partially connected to each other. This stage of the cell division process was used as the basis for the creation of another theoretical model of the human body called the dividing cell view of the human body. According to the dividing cell view of the human body, it is useful to treat the human body as if it is a large dividing cell located as shown in this picture. The multi-cell view of the human body is another theoretical model of the human body that is based on the single cell and its characteristics. According to the multi-cell view of the human body, it is useful to treat the human body as if it is a collection of cells grouped together in a specific way. It will be more enlightening to show how the multi-cell view of the human body is created than to show a picture of the multi-cell view of the human body. The creation of the multi-cell view of the human body will begin with the single cell shown in this picture. The single cell then goes through the process of cell division up to the point shown in this picture. The single cell has almost completely divided into two new single cells. The red circle encloses the small area where the two new cells are still connected to each other. The next step in the creation of the multi-cell view of the human body is for each of the two new cells to undergo the process of cell division. The two cells divide in the downward direction as demonstrated in this picture of two new cells placed below the two parent cells. This picture is aesthetically unpleasing because the two new cells do not look connected to the original cells. To make the downward cell division idea more clear, and to make this picture look more eye-pleasing, the new cells in this picture are replaced by two vertically oriented dividing cell images. The upper half of each dividing cell image is aligned on and superimposed over one of the original cells with the new cell produced by cell division located below each original cell. This picture is more eye-pleasing than the picture with two single cells added below the original cells, and with this picture it is immediately clear that the original cells are dividing downwards. It is extremely important to keep in mind that the upper cell of each vertical dividing cell represents one of the two original cells. The original dividing cells remain partially connected to each other. The two new cells below the parent cells are also still partially connected to the parent cells. For the purposes of this video, these two new cells are going to be resized and moved, as shown in this picture. This new pair of cells then divide themselves downwards. These new cells are the same size as the parent cells and remain aligned with the parent cells. The dividing process continues as shown in this picture with two new smaller cells dividing downwards from the larger parent cells. 
The new cells should of course be the same size as the parent cells because the process of cell division produces an identical cell. The two new cells are smaller than the parent cells only to make the idea presented in this video more clear. Those two new cells then divide downwards as shown in this picture. That new pair of cells also divides downwards. The new cells again divide downwards as shown in this picture. And that new pair of cells also divide downwards. The final pair of downward dividing cells are smaller than the parent cells only to make the video more clear. The next set of cell divisions are shown in this picture. These new cells are smaller than the parent cells only to make the video more clear. Those two new cells divide out to the side. That new pair of cells also divides out to the side. And then those two new cells divide out to the side. A final pair of cells divide out to the side from those two new cells. Those new cells are smaller than the parent cells only to make the video more clear. The grouping of dividing cells in this picture forms the shape of a human body. This picture represents the multi-cell view of the human body. The multi-cell view of the human body is useful philosophically because it can be used to present the idea that the human body is one large interconnected mechanism as opposed to a collection of discrete or separate parts. Every dividing cell in the picture implies that the areas of the human body covered by a particular dividing cell are connected to each other. Because the dividing cells overlap each other, they form a chain that can be followed from any part of the body to any other part of the body. The hand is connected to the forearm by one dividing cell. The lower part of the forearm is connected to the upper part of the forearm. The upper part of the forearm is connected to the lower part of the upper arm. The lower part of the upper arm is connected to the upper part of the upper arm. The upper part of the upper arm is connected to the upper chest. And the upper chest is connected to the head. This picture provides one way to visualize how the hands are connected to the head or how any part of the body is connected to any other part of the body. The multi-cell view of the human body is not just a useful philosophical tool. By combining the multi-cell view of the human body with the various behaviors and characteristics of both a single cell and a dividing cell, it is possible to describe in almost complete detail how one of the lowest levels of the human body is constructed and behaves.